All right, everybody, I hope you're having a great day. You're not too affected by this coronavirus scare thing and everything that's going on in the world today. And um, so I'm seeing all these images online of empty shelves and um, empty parking lots and restaurants and businesses starting to close down. And I was sitting here and I was actually con you know, reflecting on how I've been food prepping for a long time now and how the, is, there is actually a plausibility that I might have to use some <clears throat> just due to the fact that uh, supplies are getting really limited and especially in certain areas. So I wanted to go over my top seven food prep items, foods that last a long time, you can tuck away and not have to worry about for a long time. I was going to try and do a top five, but I just couldn't narrow it down to five. Uh, I felt like I feel like these are all extremely important. So my first one, my first one is honey. Honey should be in your food preps somewhere, somehow. Period. No questions asked. Now, honey does not go bad. It will crystallize. The cr sugars will crystallize, but never goes bad. It can't go bad. Now, honey can be used medicinally as well as used as a sweetener and even an antimicrobial. There's just no reason not to have honey. And this honey in particular is from a local beehive. It is raw, unfiltered, it even has the honeycomb still in it. My next up is more personal choice, but <coughs> I love spam. Um, any canned meat, canned foods in general, really, but I like canned meat, especially Spam. Um, I love frying it, and you can actually eat this straight out of the can, just fine. Good to go. And, you know, the things about canned foods is they will last a really, really long time. And, you know, it's like my grandma used to say, until they started putting these expiration dates on here, you never knew how long it was sitting on that shelf. My next up is canned fruits. We all like sweet things. And um, the thing about canned fruits, they're sweet. They're often sweetened a little bit more than they probably ought to be. But in the terms of a straw situation or a bug-in situation or a situation where you're rationing food supplies, that's a good thing. You're gonna want that sugar. You're gonna want that energy. And again, it's canned. You can just tuck this away and it'll last a really long time. Something to note though on the side before I get into the rest of these is um, all of these foods should be cool, stored in a cool, dark, and dry place with as little humidity as possible. <coughs> when you do that, your food will last much longer. My next up is, where'd it go? There it is, MREs. So I love MREs. It's a self-contained three-course meal, basically. It's got everything that you need. And in light of what's going on with this coronavirus now, um, it comes with toilet paper and tissues. So that's something worth considering. So everybody that has MREs and stuff stocked up, they've already been stocking up with toilet paper. And also MREs come with matches, uh, a little bit of chewing gum, some antiseptic cleaners, and hand wipes. And again, this particular menu that I have, I forget which one it is, I take them all out so I can organize them based off of how much I like them and I'd give other people the ones that I wasn't as much of a fan of. So this one had, it's a mixed fruit. So it's basically this fruit cocktail bag, but it's in a, a foil bag. Comes with a heater. Comes with the main entree, which is in here, which in this case, it is a jalapeno beef patty, which is all right. It's not my favorite one, but it's all right. And this one is pork sausage and creamy gravy. So, the great thing about MREs is they come with these heaters that are activated by water. You just fill it up, fill up to, to the line, and then you lean against a rock or something, and it heats up. You put your um, your food in there. You, it heats up. You put your your bag in here. You can put two bags in here actually, and uh, it heats it up. It warms it up, and you have a hot meal. Now, MREs aren't exactly the healthiest long-term foods in the world, but again, if you're talking uh, survival and trying to get the nutrition that you need to survive with um, I like MREs they're fantastic but because they're stored in fluid they have a shorter shelf life than the dry foods so again 
I'm gonna heavily emphasize on the MRE is store in a cool, dark, dry place. You will not have much problems. The average shelf life for MREs is about five years, but it can last longer. But what I'll do is after about four years-ish, as I'm cycling out foods, I'll just eat my MREs. I actually enjoy eating MREs, and my number one favorite one, like I love eating it, I can eat it as a food, is the uh, shredded pork and barbecue, or shredded beef and barbecue. Yeah. <clears throat> my next up is freeze-dried foods. Freeze-dried foods are fantastic because they have a really, really long shelf life. They're often stored in foil bags. Notice there's a trend here between with long-term foods that are meant to last being stored in metal or foil. Burt Gummer from Tremors said it best. Uh, plastic is not an oxygen barrier, but metal is. So, the great thing about freeze-dried meals is that you can get them in all kinds of different meals, uh, flavors, everything. I apologize if there's an excessive amount of wind noise. I'm trying to talk over it. We have, we have really windy weather today. There we go. You have you know, freeze-dried snacks like this. This is freeze-dried bananas. You also have freeze-dried meals that contain everything in them like chicken and rice or um, beef stew, whatever else. You just add a certain amount of hot water, close the bag, and it hydrates and it's ready to go. And they actually taste really good. And some of them actually taste like regular meals. The, <clears throat> the chicken and rice one was one of my favorite ones. It tastes like chicken and rice almost, not quite, eh, not near, but pretty good. Close to what I make. My next up is dry grain. You know, rice, beans, um, peas, whatever it is that your, your poison is. And the reason for that is because rice and beans and everything else, when you cook them, they swell up. They, they uh, soak up a lot of volume. So if you were to, you know, I'll just use an example. One of my favorite uh, meal prep meals is um, chicken and rice. So I can use you know, uh, a dinner size amount of chicken and I can cook that into a batch of chicken and rice and I can make that into two, three, or four meals depending on how I make it. And you can add in other stuff too. You can add in onions, you know, like wild onions. You can add in uh, greens, vegetables, um, anything you want. Anything that you know, makes your taste buds happy. And that's why I like rice. And that's why I have 10 pound bags of it and I put them in a vacuum seal bag and I seal them. And they actually get hard as a rock when I do that. I thought that was kind of crazy when I first did it. And you know they'll last virtually forever. And my last up, and the reason that this is last is because this is not going to be the first thing that I choose out of storage if I'm hungry and I need to eat. But it is an important thing for you to keep in your food preps. These will keep for about five years, sometimes more. And they're ration bars. They're dry. <clears throat> this one is apple cinnamon flavored. I've had one before and you know, they're all right. Uh, the flavor is all right. It's definitely really dry. But the important thing about it is they have every single nutrient that you need for an entire day. And you can get them in 1,200 calorie bars, 2,400 calorie bars, and I'm pretty sure you can get them bigger than that too. But I like keeping them in the 2,400 to 1,200 calorie range so that way, you know, you've got a day, two days worth of eating without having to risk spoilage. So that's really it. These are my top seven food items. Um, as far as condiments go, sugar and salt never go bad by themselves. So you can actually take your sugar and your salt and put them in individual containers, like a bucket or a, um, you know, it don't have to be a five gallon bucket, it can be any size bucket. And it's not gonna go bad. It might get hard and turn into a brick, but <clears throat> just take a chisel to it, it'll pull, open it right back up. Good to go. So with that said guys, this is my favorite our top seven food items, food prepping items. They're great, they're nutritious, maybe not the healthiest thing for you, and everybody loves meat. Well, not everybody, there are vegetarians and vegans out there, um, but there is canned vegetables as well, if that's another option for you. But with that said guys, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to subscribe and comment, if you haven't already, hit that bell dingling icon down below. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope everybody's staying healthy and Avoiding this virus, I hope the 
uh, mass layoff that has happened in terms of jobs isn't affecting you too bad. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next week.